Hey, it took me 2.5 fucking seconds because I'm doing left-handed. Yeah, I'm not ambidextrous. You don't have to use your hand. All you gotta do is talk to the mic. I had to, like, get my stuff set up, you know, hit record and all that good jazz. I mean, I'm getting better at my left hand. I can now open a pop bottle one-handed with my left hand. Oh, no, 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 no. I, like, twist it off without holding it. I actually make the kids open it pre-opened so that way I can, like, get it to as tight as I want it. No rabbit. Friend over there. Yes, Jim, I am okay. Uh, we are starting a new show here on YouTube called Paranormal Chit Chat. This is basically just our first episode. That's why it's called pilot, the pilot in the description. This way you can get some information, not only about myself, but also about her. And I'll let her go first, because I'm that much of a gentleman. <laughs> no, just because you like putting me under pressure. Well, that too. As y'all know, I'm proggy. Always have been. Um... Uh, I don't know. I'm a gamer. I'm a. I like paranormal. I have two bratty children. And three, if you want to count Brendan. Three, if you count. Like Roy. Yeah, really. Five, if you want to co- include Cody in on this shit, and six with Austin. And sixteen with the dogs. Yeah, 16 with the dogs. Might as well add the cats and that shit, too. Make it 18. Um, I have... I have two children that passed away. So, a lot of times you'll hear me uh, talk about anime and Charles. Um... I don't know. I'm just me. I'm not much of a talker, but I do like making jokes. So, and I like make me, making people laugh. Now, on the last beer box, we had your uh, kids come through, too. Yeah. With her. Yeah, with her. Well. With her. Yeah, because those are the ones, those two were the ones that were petting the dog and making the dog get excited. And I think they're the ones that came over here. Guys, <laughs> of course you know who I am. What up, paranormal? You know uh, you know that all my stuff is non-edited, straight in your face, uploaded. I don't know how to edit, so if you see anything edited norm- with words, it's normally because of my buddy blowhole. He's my editor, but I, I I pay him to edit my uh YouTube uh gaming YouTube channel. We but, did that a long time ago, but fine. What we are going to be doing on here, we're going to be playing clips. We're going to be playing videos. Uh, we're also going to be talking about different types of equipment that we use. Uh, what, what a quick that works great for us. What we found that hasn't. What equipment we would prefer? We're trying to get um, do's and don'ts. A paranormal, because I know sometimes people have those kinds of questions. Sweet Jim, have fun. Taboo subjects like. Uh, Ouija boards. Oh, no. <laughs> Not here, anyway. <laughs> I 
Anyways, getting away from that subject. Hey. Some people ask about him, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, and me, I, you know, y'all know I'm blind, right? So, um, sometimes, like, I'll be sitting here and a name will pop in my head. Like, one day we were over at a cemetery, okay? And all of a sudden I got to meet James and I told Chris, I said, I just got to meet James. He stopped the car, he looked out his window and there was a guy Tombstone said James, and I'm like, can we go home now? James Wild Stone. Yep, because I was, I was freaked out at that point. That was the first time that something like that ever happened to me. But, as you'll see on the video that's going to be dropping um, tomorrow, that was one of the best bear boxes that I've ever, ever had. Other than the ones I talked to my family, you know. Yeah, it was only about seven minutes, but... It's dropping tomorrow. That goes along with the live stream that we did earlier today. We did the spirit box at the same place. And uh, um, th that cemetery is so secluded that it never gets any uh, visitors, visitors you know? that we know of. And when I it does because the grass is cut. Well, that's probably because that's. That's maintenance, not visitors. But they they still might go there and talk to them. No. You never know. There's not a lot of people there. I but like anyway. going to cemeteries because they calm my mind. And whenever I'm upset or stressed, I'll just go sit at a cemetery. Yeah, it's a quiet place. But yes, we will also be doing questions from you guys in the chat on anything that you have to ask. Ask away and I will tell you I have nothing to hide because literally I've been at this for five years now with a couple intermediate breaks in there. I have not. What? Jim asked if I've ever been to a Giants game. No, because that sounds boring. I'd rather go play in the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to a Giants game? Yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome. Try baseball. Hey, that's still awesome. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's still a good sport. Although, I will be going... Oh, to more cemeteries, because I hate sitting at home. Yeah. And also be watching in December. She is going to be coming to Virginia. Mm -hmm. And I will be taking her out to one of my favorite locations. That's... Okay. That no. sounds one of three things. That sounds creepy, kinky, and mysterious all in one. Now, there ain't nothing wrong with okay, that. We went, it could be all three. We went out to this place, okay, and did our video and everything. Chris and I went out to eat at the lobster. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, Chris, does Ivy have blonde hair or brown, light brown or whatever? Long, long light brown hair? He goes, yeah. And I said, and do babes have, like, short hair? And she's like, he's like, yeah. And he pulls up the picture. This is what, I'm, the image I'm getting in my head. I'm like, that's them. You know, you explain me, I, we're not from Virginia. I've never, you know, I've never done anything like that. Wasn't that the first time we went out there? Yeah, that was the first time. That was the first time. And I don't know. Kind of creeped me out, you know, because I always thought it would be cool to be able to talk to the spirits and, you know, hear them and all that. No, not so much anymore. First you see but. the spirits, and then you start to hear them voices. Well, that's right. And I know, welcome to your world. Welcome to my world, princess. <laughs> Let me show you around. 
<laughs> Is Frog Legs going to visit you in Virginia? Yes, I am. Yep. And Not only Foggy, but how many others? Uh, my daughter, my son-in-law, possibly, and, and my son. Jordan? Yep. And two of them are going to take me up on my challenge. My son ain't scared of shit. Except for snakes, though. I guess he's scared of snakes. <laughs> Only because they keep... They're... They keep crawling by his feet. They're slithering by his feet. They are going to do the blindfold challenge. I'll do the blindfold challenge. But make sure I don't have those surgeries beforehand and I can't hit myself. <laughs> uh, tell us about your blindfold challenge. Some of us have actually seen me, have witnessed me doing this. Some of us have actually witnessed me doing this and taking it to a whole new level. Some of them, some of us just thought you stupid or crazy or... I said, wait a minute, are you dad? <laughs> Actually, he started... Hey, are they tied to, a, to the chair? <laughs> well, he, he did the blindfold challenge because he actually wanted to do it. Yes. Know? So, go ahead, sir. Well, it all started, like she says, I started doing, putting a blindfold on. I wanted to see what it was like to be in the same position that she's in every time we go out. But instead of having very little sight, I had no sight. Uh, the first time was right up at a general, old general store. There was a hole in the pave, in the, right where the steps would be. And Ten feet, about ten to twenty feet from there was the railroad tracks. And yes, this video is up on my channel if you want to go see. And then two foot away from the building was the road. So yeah, it was very dangerous for me to even think about doing. It just painted your country. But I also had people there that I could trust. Well, I was watching. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was. I was right by the. You were right by the door. Yeah, but I was sitting on the thing, so you would have. Because I was in. walking towards the railroad tracks, and Cody turned me around. No, because I was going to do something. Okay. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> yes, Jim. Watch the video. Uh, If a train would have been coming, I would have been like three steps away from the tracks itself. But, um, that train track was part of, uh, uh what is, what was it that was told to us? Uh, an accident? Yeah, the there was an accident right off that trail line, train line. Right. Uh. And the word I was getting was Charlie. There was, when I did my research, it said that there was an accident there in Charlotte, uh, West Virginia, so. Another one was the old jail where I did my second blindfold. And I was walking towards the creek that lays behind That's us. That's the one that Cody turned your ass around. He's like, Dad, yeah, you walk through the creek. <laughs> and it was what, about a See, I, I figure if I were to do that, you would have to tie me to the chair because I trip over my own feet, as you seen last night. <laughs> right. A and my ass would end up getting hurt. Yeah. Like you did last night? Like I did last night. Oh, this poor girl was in pain. She just had surgery for carpal tunnel and... She slammed the hand that she had surgery on into the hard part of the couch. Can I ask you something? Why would you do that, Johnny? 
I, I tripped over my own feet. I was looking for the remote control and I went to go turn around and I tripped over my own feet and my hand went down and Hey Wes. Hey Wes. So what you saying is you're not graceful? Oh hell no. I am far from graceful. I am pro I, like put me in a bubble accident prone. <laughs> Little ever is licking you. Oh yes. I guess. Ever, uh, uh, do we need to have a discussion about uh, your foot fetish? <laughs> we we can make a Ever has a foot fetish Friday, okay? <laughs> I was tr I was going to last Friday. Well, But, yeah, and then we went down to Aberdeen, North Carolina, and the wife had to raise six days. Yeah. Yep. She wanted me to be tied to a chair, blindfolded. Well, you wanted something else to do, and I'm like, oh, you don't to just come around tie yourself to a chair. I'm gay. Well... Somebody took a picture of this, didn't have me in the picture, but she caught a spirit outside of the building through a window that had no glass. But was it a spirit? No, it was not a person. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm the photographer. That, that's what I do, you know? Next year, I'm going to try to get her her camera. Mm -hmm. Very first thing that's coming out of the income tax. I got told I can get a camera as long as I get the uh, clutch for the three-wheeler. This is going to be a full, what, a full spectrum? No, it's not a full spectrum. It's a low light capacity camera, but it has the filters for it. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Uh, know that Lunatic Dad is 63 years old. Yes, I know. Yep. I did his birthday stream on his birthday. Yep. And I still have to mail out his gift. I have to mail out a lot of people's gifts, but uh, bacon is expensive to send across the world. How about this? Just screw everybody else and just send it all to me. Uh, no. Waldo gets bacon, okay? Okay, I'll let him have bacon. Well, so does Blaho, so. I don't care who's holding Blaho. Joking, bro. Really? You know we. You know I like you. We all love blowhole. <laughs> I love you, blowhole. Just not the way you think. Uh, although I. I can go to scream on DVD. Although I did manage to play Minecraft one-handed today. I was so proud of myself. Nice. So basically, you want us to go in and mine for you while you pick everything up? No, we'll play Dead by Daylight and you all can die and I'll just run around. <laughs> but no. Just don't do like Joker did. Run right in front of the killer. <laughs> there, <laughs> there's a... Uh, we all did that. Then we went in for him and walk out. There's many <laughs> times that, day. like, right now with my surgeries, I have to watch when I go to a cemetery because you're not supposed to go to do paranormal while you're yeah. hurt because you're yeah. more acceptable of getting um, in yeah. trouble that way. That's one of the don'ts. Maybe I should get hurt and go to a cemetery. That's why we won't do a script, like, 
because we're afraid that, that see, with, with her being hurt, or with her being, having that surgery, she's kind of like her chances are down, I guess, what you would say, wouldn't you, Russ? Especially oh. with how much pain men I'm on because I keep fucking up my right. hand. <laughs> hey, I'm all for hallucination. I just don't want to get possessed and end up fucking walking down the street and well, having the cop come get me. I mean... You don't, you, you don't really need to be injured to have being possessed. No, but I'm you're more acceptable of it. Oh. Right. Well, our friend that you were talking to, we were down at Graham House in, uh, or up, what a up down type ways, I don't know. West Virginia, Bubba. Okay, well, we were up in West Virginia at Graham House. Hi, JM. How are you? Hi, JM. Hey, JM. We were up there, and uh, she ended up getting possessed. And I was sitting there right there in front of her, and she was scaring a hole through me, scared the shit out of me. Never had to happen before. It was funny. And but now my question is, is, okay, so you can, if, if there's a saying out there that um, if your mind is not pure when you go into investigations, you're easy, more easier to be taken over because there ain't as much of a fight. Right. If anything was on her mind besides that investigation that could be why she got took it over because we all know Chris is straight on that investigation we right. know you're on that investigation right. well, I think what it was was um, they, they figured that she could communicate with us like now if it would have been me I would have felt uh. like that there could have been a lot to do with that. Mm -hmm. For the simple reason, the other people that we had with us was making it look like it was a joke. See, and that, that I don't care how pure of a mind you are, they're going to take somebody over and tell them to knock that shit off. I actually... I refuse to go to a house that keeps wanting me to come do the par do an investigation because I made a rule, no kids. If you're under the 18, age 18, drop them off at grandma's house or some shit. I don't want kids there because kids ain't going to be, uh, kids ain't going to understand as much as like me, you, well, or you an know, adult. Like God was telling us, I mean, you know, she... She came out of it, and she goes, why are you guys staring at me? And then she looked down at her hand, and she's like, uh, why are you holding my hand? Uh-oh. Everett's going to get her done. But. That's okay. I know, and that hurts, bro. But. but uh, I can't. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm A lot of people, like, I refuse to allow kids in the house because they have a harder time now like I do go out with my son he's 14 but he's not normal he's not normal we'll put it that way but nice, like nice. the, these kids like made a joke out of it and one of them slapped another one and the spirit box said ow like, you, straight out 100% the spirit box said, ow, stop it. And they didn't stop it, and my spirit box stopped working after that. Oh, really? Well, the sad part about it is, the two that was with us was over the age of 20. Right, well, one was over the age of what? Five, well, yeah. apparently their mind wasn't over the age of 20. And the, the youngest one was about, what, 23, 24, yeah. somewhere in there? They, they just, they, they didn't realize what, I, well, I know one of them didn't realize what the paranormal was. The other one was, what was he doing, like? 
trying to like convince him or you know that this shit's not real. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. He was right. a non-believer trying to make other people think that you were faking shit when you weren't faking shit. Right, exactly. Right. And he's been caught doing it anyway, so. Well, if, like my daughter, she says, I'm skeptical because I don't, he, you know, you can't see ghosts, but the more oh, and yeah. more she's she sees it, she's... Don't believe in it. What she's well, no, she's becoming more and more of a believer, and she just don't know how to handle it. Right. So she's making it look like in her own mind that it's not happening. Exactly. Until you realize that uh, something is messing with your phone. Once it comes to her phone, she'll... She, she, like, her phone is her baby, so she's just like, okay, this is real now. Okay. Now, acts. What have been some of the best other apps that you have used for the paranormal? Um, Necrophonics is the main, uh, the best one that I've used. Now, I normally don't use apps because a lot of people can say, oh, well, you're hacking it, you're faking it, da-da-da-da-da. And that's why uh, lately I've been screen recording what I've been doing, you know, my investigations. Because at that point in time, you can't fake a... S I, I don't right. believe in faking it. And... Well, Go ahead. Go ahead. And too many people out there are, oh, it's, you're faking it, you're hacking the computer system, you're hacking this, you're hacking that. Honey, if I knew how to hack a computer system, I would seriously put a penny in my bank account every half a second. I'm not a hacker. I'm not smart enough to be a hacker. I don't know how to hack. But because of that, a lot of things I do don't use the phone for but now like I do have a boyfriend who is mechanically inclined like he if it involves anything with mechanics or you know wires and making things work he knows how to do it so he's been he says if I get all this stuff, he'll build REM pods and all of that stuff for me. Nice. But, but I do like Necrophonics because it's come out, you know, it, it's been proven to be true. A legit app. There's been two apps that I've used. Three, not the third one's not so much. I won't put my life on it, mm -hmm. which is the, go, the ghost tool or ghost hunting tool. But don't forget about that stupid how that one thing was going around and we tried it to see where the haunted place the worst stuff and oh. how it led, led us to a baseball field or something. Oh, you're talking about the. What was it? I can't even think. It was a big, sad... Randonautica? Or... Yeah, Randonautica. Fake, 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 fake. No, people have actually found things with that. I don't like that. Don't like but that. you have to go within a hundred yard diameter of the location. Oh. See, now my mom is a medium. Yeah. And she can hear him, she can see him, yeah. she can talk to him. The whole shebang. And uh, she downloaded Necrophonics. And everything that they were saying to her was coming through the box too. So uh, she also downloaded the SB7 or whatever. The B7. The paranormal box. Uh, the one the you have. 
yeah, she downloaded that one, and it did the same, but then she downloaded, um, another app, and I'll have to get it, and the words weren't matching up to what they were saying. Right. But the best two that I found that I've used is what was just mentioned, the Necrophonics and the PXB7. Now, uh, Foggy, I don't think, did we ever ask you, when you were doing your interview, what was the first paranormal experience that you ever had? No, you did not. And Okay. Okay, you? so, you gotta, you guys gotta remember, I, I grew up no. in a shit household, okay? If my dad wasn't cheating on my mom, my mom was running away and fucking some dude, okay? So, to bring that up, just so that way you guys kind of understand what my childhood it was, was like. Yeah. I was laying in bed. I was about, I want to say seven. And me and my sister are sharing a room. And she's sound asleep. My dad and mom are downstairs in their room. And my brother's in his room and he's sound asleep. Because I could hear him snoring. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the hallway through the door. And I don't know what caused me to look through the hall, uh, the doorway to the hall, uh, the, yeah, doorway to the hallway. But I turned around to look at my wall. And there's a figure standing above my bed. And I didn't say nothing. I didn't move until this figure grabbed the knife or, or like raised his hands and it, in its hands is a freaking knife. Not like a real knife, but like, you know, an image of a knife. Yeah. And he went to go bring it down and he stabbed himself in the gut. I scream bloody fucking murder. And the whole entire time I'm screaming, there is another figure in, like in the door frame. And I thought it was my dad. And I'm like, daddy, help me, daddy, help me. And I hear my dad run up the stairs and the figure disappears. Huh. I'm like, uh there was something there. He goes, you're too old to believe in boogeymen. My mom took me aside that night and she's like, what did you see? And I explained it to her and she goes, okay, just go to bed. And I got you. And the next day, like, there was salt along my door. And she goes, whatever you do, don't clean this up. Hide it. Don't clean it up. Because my dad wasn't into the paranormal at all. But my mom was. And ever since then, that day, if I feel something's off or I see something, because I'm not one to hallucinate and see figures or shadows or this or that. You know, that's not me. Yeah. So if I see something, I truly see it. And I'll put salt down because homie ain't waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning with somebody stabbing themselves in the gut. Well, I later found out through research of my own that the house that we lived in, there was a suicide And he, he died in our room. So I was watching his final moments. Wow. And yes, Jim, I'm okay. His, his leg has been bothering him ever since he went to the cemetery. His leg? His leg. And we went to Walmart and I'm walking down the aisle. And I smell this really strong peppermint smell. 
and I'm like clear piping. I think uh, Cynthia's with us. Now <laughs> I, I have. Is it where on your leg is it hurting? Like your whole leg, the knee. No, it's just the calf. The calf of it. The calf of it. Yeah, it's like my leg about gave out. And we turned the corner, Tanya, and that peppermint smell is gone, but I got like a really bad ass headache. And I'm like, okay. You okay. know a lot of people that have muscle anything, including um, uh, cerebral palsy, anything that has to do with your muscles. A lot of people, including back in the old days, used peppermint to cure said ailments because it relaxes the muscles. So maybe at the cemetery, somebody was showing you, you, you picked up the um, empathic residue of somebody who had a leg injury. And that's why you guys were smelling the peppermint? Probably. It happens to me all the time. Well, Tanya, you know, the first time I ever had this experience, okay, I was like 10. It was right after my dad had died. Me and my brother were at the apartment that we were in. And uh, me and him were arguing over the damn controller. All of a sudden, I smell, smell roses. And we're freaking out. So we called my mom. We're like, what's going on? And mom's like, Johnny, what were you doing? He's like, I was taking, I took the control from the thing. And he goes, just give the damn thing back to her and, and it'll go away, right? Sure as shit, Johnny. He gave me the control of the roses and went away. I was like, my dad's got my back. Let's <laughs> go. See, and the only reason I say that is because, like, when um, I was in... Rush City. We lived in a shit apartment that was next to a train track. Yeah. And there was a little boy that would like play with our to like my son's radio and because it was right next to the window but we would turn my son's radio on to like country or soothing music and it would automatically turn to like heavy rock music. Nice. <laughs> but I always got the smell of pipe tobacco before and after it happened. Like I hate the smell of pipe tobacco. So Imagine all of a sudden you smell pipe tobacco, but no, they say that that there is um, a couple paranormal uh, magazines that state that people who are more empathic to empathic in general are gonna pick up on spirits is like what they're feeling, right? And guilty. It, and even though they say that when we pass away, all the pain goes away, but some people relive the last moments over and over and over again. So if they're in pain on their last moments, you're going to feel that pain and you're going to smell what they smell. Yeah. Like I said, guilty. Yeah, I, I can be sitting out in the living room with him and I'll be like, Chris, you call in, he's like, what? He said, you can't smell like cigar smoke, you know? And he's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, okay. All right, I'm done playing with you. Or I'll be laying here in bed, and I'll be like, Chris, there's a fire. He's like, what do you mean? I said, I smell burnt wire. And he's like, I smell fire. The last time we smelled burnt wire and we couldn't figure out where it was coming from, our stove was on fire. Like, the night before, I kept smelling something on fire, and I'm like, Roy, what the fuck is on fire? And we're smelling all around my room, because I smelt it in here, but when I walked out of my room, I didn't smell it. The next day, my daughter's like, 
Mom, do you smell that? I go, I've been smelling that since last night. My stove really? caught on fire. But yeah, uh, I I get those feelings on how people die a lot. Yeah. I feel it. I was up at the ja old Jackson Prison in Jackson, Michigan. It's on one of my videos. I, it felt like I got stabbed like 10 times right in the side to the back. And I guess there was a jailbreak. The inmates started a riot. Three people broke out. They were all caught. But, yeah. Oh, and don't forget about being choked and drugged on the water. Yeah, and I was on dry land. And we, uh, we were, what was you told me about it, and then somebody, because you searched it, whatever. There was girls laying out on a raft, and one of the guys was drunk up at the beach, or at the, up at the thing, have, and they were having a party. And so he swam up there to kind of, like, play a joke on him. Well, he rubbed this one girl down around her neck, and she, she couldn't breathe. She couldn't do it, so she died. Damn, that's crazy. Yep. And what was your first tournament? What year did we move to Virginia? 2018. July of 2018. It was the worst and the best experience of my life. <laughs> you know, I said that about Iowa, too. It was the worst but best experience, best thing that happened in my life. And the only reason we say it's the best is because we went from moving from house to house to house to house to house to owning a house. We went from, you know, living the poor life to, eh, if you want to go get it. Living a moderately poor life. Yeah, a moderately poor life. Right. Um, Chris, what was your first paranormal experience? I'm sure the people want to know. Yep. Hmm. Or don't you want to share that right now? I was about five. Follow. And I used to get attacked by black cats. The house that we lived in, it was an old chalet. You guys know what a chalet house is, right? Basically an A-frame where the roof goes all the way down to the ground. And my brother used to kill these cats. Well, they were attacking me. And they wouldn't leave me alone. Well, it got so bad after he killed them the first time, buried them. Somehow, they dug their ways out of those graves and were back the next day. Uh, it got worse. He used to bury a cat in two different spots. After that. Yes. Guess what appeared next day? Double the cat. It's like it grew a whole nother half. Oh, that was a good one, right? <laughs> so, yeah. It was... Bad and being five years old, I hit, couldn't. I can't stand cats now. But
Okay. Well, after I got my tattoo, I got a lot of a lot dirty looks. Dirty, if that does anything. Well, no. no, 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 no. Not all Christians think like that. No, that These are Christians that have tattoos even. They look here. down on me for my tattoo, but they're covered in it. Right. Well, there's a reason, though. It's a Wiccan, or not Wiccan, pagan. Uh, it's a Wiccan it? protection symbol. Yeah, Wiccan. Not Wicca. The main part of it is a pentagram. With the Celtic knot. Yeah. That's that's what mine is too, is a protection But the thing is, 95% of the Christian community believes all pentagrams are evil. Like you said, like you said that, that subject exactly. pisses me off, honestly. Because if you think about it, if you believe in God, he walks on the fucking water, you know? I mean, How about water, this one? So. so, what you're saying, you're a hypocrite because you believe in the second coming of Jesus Christ and he's already been crucified for your sins. Right. Well, there was someone that used to come into our room quite a bit. And we had this conversation with him. And I'm like, dude, God or Jesus walked on the water. If that ain't pure and normal, I don't know what the hell is. Well, he quit coming in for a while. You know, it is what it is. I mean, if you Yep. by watching us it was it was wrong because he's a Christian and um 
No, that's what everybody told and, him. Yeah, and what we do isn't, that's what they said. It's not, it's not, you know, real. Or, or what, I don't know. You know, and, and, but, oh. <laughs> you do. You do. You do. Right. right. <laughs> yes. He was saying, I just don't know if I can come in anymore, and I don't know if I can watch this because it goes against everything I I believe in. And well, I'm that's like, fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make you, I'm not gonna force you. It's up to you. But eventually, it's, he pops in every now and then. It's okay, you know. Yeah. That's what I told Jordan, that's what his name was. <laughs> right. This is another thing, the whole Fortnite issue, and 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 the, the being a Christian and 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 us being ghost hunters and all that, that all that came into the issue. And I, and he quit for about what two months? Well, Fortnite. Yeah, for for a while, it was maybe even a month. I don't know, but he quit that for a while. 
And then I know it could come back on Fortnite, and I'm like, what? <laughs> right. Right. I know. Yeah. You know what? I like him either way. He's you want to know something? It doesn't matter. I'd rather be outcasted for standing up what I believe in instead of not believing anything to belong. But I like him either way. It, it doesn't matter, you know? Right. I'd rather be a sinner than a hypocrite. A hypocrite. And if you think about it, honey already had it. There's not one person on God's green earth that hasn't fucked up their life somewhere. Right. And a lot of people say the devil himself, since he is a fallen angel, is actually God's brother. He tried to take over and they cast them down as a fallen angel to hell. Right. Okay, here's a question. What was the first, yeah, the first, what was the first piece of equipment you've ever used? The phone, the cell phone. The phones were ours. We did all of our recordings right from our cell phones. Well, for a black person. <laughs> okay, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, you can throw rocks, Mike. <laughs> you saw the hand. You saw the hand. <laughs> oh, God. Um, no, uh,
Right. I get very <laughs> far because I don't want to pin you, you know? Right, and Mike. It's like, okay, I have this aunt. She is oh. a complete Bible thumper, okay? And my yeah. mom hospital. My mom is in the hospital. And she's on the, on the verge of dying, okay? And, and this Aunt Pam went up there and she's reading the Bible to her. So I called mom and just see how she's doing, you know, you know. Well, I know how she's doing. She sucks. But hey, you just see what's up. And, I don't want to uh, know what she's been she sucking. Said, she said, uh, yeah, your Aunt Pam came up here. And I said, yeah, well, what about it? And he's like, she's like, well, she was reading me the Bible. Like, she was cramming it down my throat. I'm like, Mom, that's just Pam. <laughs> that's just Pam. I hate people that cram shit down your throat. I'm not going to do that. No. Is it either the paranormal, is your cup of tea, or it's not? Don't we're not going to stop showing what we show. All right, we're not going to put it just because you have the top. Okay. okay. Look me. Well, see, okay, my aunt, she, like I said, she is, she was like a Bible thumper, okay? My Uncle Jim died. We were run, when was it? We were running the spare box, 15th of November. My, my Uncle Jim had died like 8th of November, something like that. And I'm like, okay, I said, after his thing, he got off. I said, what's happened to Uncle Jim's voice? I said, nothing happened to him, do you think? And he goes, I don't know. I said, you think they'd call, right? And he's like, well, I'm hoping they would. So around Christmas Eve, I called uh, my Aunt Pam to wish them both to have, have a Merry Christmas and all that. Well, they didn't call you? I'm like, call me about what? Because your Uncle Jim passed away on the 8th of November. I'm like, what? And this totally blew my mind. Well, Christmas Day, I didn't, needless to say, I didn't get up out of bed because I was depressed. And I uh, get up to eat, eat something, and me and me and Chris and another person were going to have a spirit box. Well, he came through, and he wanted help getting crossed over, and he helped him cross over. So I was telling Pam about it, right? And she's like, oh, no, no, we, we never believed that you was away. We never believed in any of that. I'm like, okay. You're a hypocrite. All right, that's fine, whatever. So let it go. I was like, okay. Uh, if right. he didn't believe, why did he come come oh, through the spirit box? Yep. <laughs> and but you see what I'm getting at? My uncle Jim had never went. My uncle Jim had never went to church a day in his life. Until when, he when got I, married to I her. Was around, okay? And then, next thing you know, they're going like every Wednesday, every Sunday, every Wednesday, every Sunday. Every time I called, they were going to church. I'm like, okay. Obsessive? <laughs> well, that might be the case, too. I don't know. <laughs> but I just had to let it go. I was like, okay, Indian. All right.
Well, it could be that good, but that doesn't matter what believe what she believes in. Yeah. I'm not talking about it. What? What was she talking something? I'm not talking about it. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. Devin, you better just get a snack. Denial. <laughs> That's what Mike said. Yes. Oh Holy shit. Oh. Did you have one of those special watches too? You know me, I don't mind. More than Mary. Try to block up that area that way she don't go snooping, but I don't know how well it's gonna stop it. Because my life will start scratching at it. Some of the phone shell calls me, she'll eat it. That's why I'm free. Of. <laughs> yes, she is. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? We can leave that for episode two. Okay. 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 Is there anybody in the chat that's still here would like to ask anything? Oh God! I'll behave. <laughs> Dirty mind, big like I got. Or on the yeah, game was me more than talk to your fiance big girl. Your fiance called the chat the fuck out half the time. Or when she's in the hospital after getting her pain med, say she has to pee, pee in her leg. No, the one minute, 
she said something about having an ice beer in front of her guy. She said, I got a fist in my foot. I got a beer in my foot. Hopefully. Uh, Jim said, but. Yes. Danny, next time your mom goes for surgery for her left hand, record that shit and throw it up on YouTube. <laughs> okay, I'll put it up on YouTube then. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'll figure out how to black out the nipples. Uh, yeah, you can. Just put icons over the nipples. Because <laughs> I already seen that shit happen on YouTube. Not, not me. Yeah, I can believe it. Is, there, is that even weirder than the foot fetish? <laughs> you want to know something? Well, I saw... Okay, Tanya? One of the talk shows or something, and there was a there was a stripper on there, and she just got done having a baby. She was pouring her her milk out all over. I'm like, what the fuck? I give her mad prop. I would give her mad prop that she was actually doing it for the right reason. Yes, and not to make money off it. yourself for clout Right. 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 
somebody's hand. Like, if you're gonna help somebody out, just help them out. I would not have put it on YouTube. I don't want people to know what I'm doing. Hey, is there is there any questions? Unless it comes to my paranormal or gaming. Right. Did anybody ask any questions? No. <laughs> oh, come on, honey. You don't want to show your cute fragile. Aww. <laughs> How about Shaney's foot? How about Jordan? <laughs> I, all I wanted was a foot, not an anything else. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we'll we'll do number two, episode two next yeah. week. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And hopefully, maybe in a couple of weeks, we'll feel like doing the spirit box. Maybe. Okay. Uh oh, she's gonna be crying. Be grateful about it, okay? You'll probably break your hand that you just had surgery on. <laughs> but you know, whenever you hurt something or whatever, that's always the area that you hit. What do you do? Oh. You know, like and like, hurting her own self. I know if you like have a bad toe or something, that's always the freaking area you hit. Always, always. I hate it. <laughs> Good. All right. So you done? Frog, do you got anything to say? Love you like everybody. Thank you for coming in, guys. Much love. Bye. What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> <laughs> there, froggy. Didn't rotate. <laughs> okay, how about that? Come on, guys. Uh, much love to each and every one of you guys. Thank you for popping in on this new thing that we are trying to get started. Uh, yes. Leave, leave it in the comments below after the video is done. What we need to do, what we can do better, what we can change. I know we need, and I need to be more curious. We need to stop joking around. <laughs> but that's us. That's how we are. You know. Yes. We're, we're that's how we are. You know. Right. Leave me out of this. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, <laughs> much love to each and every one of you. Thank you for coming in. 
I do hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed making it for you. With and that being said... Any questions or anything, and you can put them down below, too. If yes. you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to be acknowledged, then we'll just say, this person's ass, and we'll go through it. <laughs> so. Yeah, we won't say who let the dogs out. No, it was the one in here. I'm sorry. I didn't want to put you on the spot. <laughs> no, because she might fall down and get hurt. <laughs> Peace! Is she arguing? Hi! Too late. Oh, she's gonna have to.